PSLE 2015 Paper 2 Question Series. I'll be going through Question 4. So, in my channel, I aim to help you all master all those concepts out there and also think beyond the boundaries for really tough questions as many students lack the skill. When students meet up with really tough questions, they actually easily give up. Instead, you should actually analyze the question. Okay, you should analyze the question, underline or highlight the key information, and then you should mainly understand the question and identify the key concepts that the questions are testing you so that it will be much easier to solve. Okay, so let's jump straight into question four. So, question four. Let's read the question first. So, in the figure, ABCD is a square. EBFG is a rectangle. And angle EBC is 252 degrees. They are asking, find ABF, the angle ABF. And this question is awarding us two marks. So, let's... Um, Underline and highlight the key information. Okay, so A, B, C, D is a square. This is a key information. And E, B, F, G is a rectangle. This is another key information. And angle E, B, C is 252 degrees. This is also a key information. So once I read this question, I know that this question is testing us on angles, okay? So, um, there are many types of angles. Not There are many properties in angles, but I'm just saying it commonly as angles, okay? So, first we should know the properties of a square. So, the square has all equal sides and the square has 90 degrees angles on each of its sides, right? Okay. And then, what properties does the rectangle have? So, the properties of a rectangle, the rectangle has a length and a breadth, and the lengths of the rectangles are the same, and the breadth of the rectangles are the same. And the rectangle has all the sides of 90 degrees angles, Okay, so first, let's see what they're asking us. They're asking us to find ABF, angle ABF, okay? So I have identified the properties over here by indicating the angles. First, we can find EBC, angle EBC or CBE, okay? So we find angle CBE first, okay? So, angle C, B, E. C, B, and E. So, this is the angle over here. It's this big angle over here. Okay? So, angle C, B, E. We take 360 degrees minus 252 degrees. We will get angle C, B, E. And why do we do so? Because this... um. Question is testing us, and this part is testing us on the property of on the property of angles at a point. Okay, so this is the point over here. So angles at a point. Okay, let's write that down. This is the properties of angles at a point. Okay. So this is the property. Next, I took Angle EBA, so it's basically 108 degrees minus 90 degrees, which is 18 degrees, okay? So where is angle EBA? Let's find that out first. So EBA is here. E, B, and A. So angle EBA is this small area over here, okay? So... How I took 108 degrees, because you know 108 degrees is this whole big area, right? So 108 degrees minus this red 90 degrees for the square 
we will get this 18 degree angle over here, which is angle EBA. So I hope you have understood so far. So after we have find EBA, which is 18 degrees, we can move on to find ABF. Okay, and I'll explain to you how we do that right now. So finding ABF, so this is ABF I'll show you right now. So A, B, F. Okay. So this is angle ABF. So we are supposed to find this angle over here. So how we find this angle is basically, can you see this right angle of this rectangle over here? So we take this right angle, which is 90 degrees, minus this 18 degrees, we'll get this big angle over here, which is 72 degrees. So ABF is 72 degrees. So you can use your calculator and calculate this um, answer, okay? So I hope you understand the method one of my explanation. So let's move on to method two on solving this question. Okay, so it's the same question. Okay, the first part is the same as the last one. So we find CBE, okay? We find CBE. CBE, we find the same old thing. CBE, we find this part, okay? Okay, so the next one is a different step. It may look similar, but it's different. Okay, so 108 minus 90 degrees to find angle FBC. What is angle FBC? Okay, let's check out. So, highlight it. Let's see where is FBC. So, here is F. And here is B. And here is C. Okay? So this is angle FBC. Okay? So how did I get this? Because we know that this big angle over here is 108 degrees, right? This big angle over here is 108 degrees. We take this big angle minus the rectangle's 90 degrees over here. So we can get 18 degrees as the angle FBC. So do you understand? Okay, so the next step is to find ABF. So it's really simple. So we take this squares 90 degrees minus the 18 degrees over here and we'll get the answer over here for ABF. So we'll get the answer as angle ABF equals to 90 degrees minus 18 degrees which will give us 72 degrees. So that's the answer. So I hope you have understood both my methods of explanation. And thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video.